This is the showcase for power armor diversification in backpacks now. So uh, I'm not going to go over the diversification portion of it, which basically uh, changes how easy it is to upgrade uh, lower tier armor like T45 and stuff versus high tier armor like XL1. Um, but I mean, that's like one thing where you could max out uh, the T45 thing versus the XL1, and then there's like armor stats, differences, little bonuses, uh, whatever. Um, right now I really wanna just focus on the backpacks. So that being said, if you go to torso of any power armor, except the Raider power armor, that's the only one that's not like this, but go to the uh, torso of any power armor, and then you're gonna see the regular, um, the Mark version or whatever it is for that armor, uh, in the material mod, which is your paints and stuff, and then the miscellaneous mod. So this is uh, like the medical pump, reactive plate, stealth plate, and even the jetpack, right? So that's kind of cool. And then you're going to see a new mod slot, and that's for the backpacks and side pouches. It's its own mod slot. Um, and it can, if you just do the side pouches, that's rank one in armor, backpack and side pouches, that's rank two. And then um, as you can see, the backpack version is incompatible with jetpack, meaning that if you have the backpack and side pouches on the power armor frame, like on the chest, uh, the jetpack will be not available to you to build. It will just will not show up in the uh, miscellaneous mod. Um, but if you remove it and then replace it with like side pouches, you would be able to have the jetpack. So you can have your cake and eat it too, get a 60 pound increased weight. Um, but yeah, so now I'm going to show this. This is the backpack and side pouches for the X01. So I tried to work really, really hard on playing with the meshes and working with them to ensure that there'd be no clipping. Um, I, uh, I think I did a pretty good job. It moves very naturally uh, with the player as the player walks and runs. Um, you get a nice little like ammo belt there. It's got that uh, leather armor kind of going across it now. Two little side satchels. Um, it just looks like you're ready to go into the wastes and that you are in fact carrying a lot of gear. Um, and it just makes more sense. It's more lore friendly in my in my mind. Um, so they're all like that. Um, and the backpacks mesh are custom to the armor model. Uh, and they all have that unique slot. Now the only one that's a little different is the T60. So now I'm gonna show you T60. Um, as part of the diversification, uh, T60 is the only armor that the way I changed it is I gave it a small debuff to the armor health, and that's the only thing that I did uh, to it. So technically that would just be a negative debuff and that might make somebody angry, right? Um, but the bonus of it is that it's pretty well balanced compared to all the other changes I've made with all the other armors. Um, so this is the T60 torso here. So it's pretty well balanced just like in the, in the way it fits, but the biggest deal here is that you get a miscellaneous mod and then an auxiliary miscellaneous mod. So that means you get two miscellaneous mods for this one torso. So you could do, you know, the backpacks for this guy, you know, that, that could be here or that could be here, or actually the backpack can only be in this first slot. Sorry, that's to make the, it, it was a design decision, but it doesn't matter. But anyways, so you can still do your backpack and pouches if you want, but if you don't want to do that, you could do a jetpack and you could do Tesla coils, right? Like, you can have a lot of fun with this. Um, so that's a really, really powerful additive thing, um, given the fact that uh, its health has taken just a slight debuff. Um, but that's the only thing that's uh, majorly different with the T60 is that it has the two modification slots. Um, but yeah, uh, like I said, you know, you can have the jetpack with the side pouches, no clipping, looks great, and you still get a uh, carry capacity bonus. Um, so that I, I just try to make it as compatible 
and easy going as possible. Um, one thing I'll point out is there is a mod on Nexus that does something, it's exactly actually what I did here um, with like an auxiliary slot. Uh, that's actually the mod that gave me this idea. Um, I designed mine ground up myself, so we actually wouldn't conflict at all. You can actually use that mod and my mod, but you'd get like three slots then? Yeah, you'd get like three slots for the T60. The rest of them would just have two slots plus my backpack slot, and that'd be fine. But the T60 would get three slots then. I uh, see your call if you think that that's overkill. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, it should be pretty compatible with most things. I think the biggest thing would probably be uh, any mod that alters uh, the base power armor uh, torso. That's going to potentially cause uh, a conflict. And then, you know, just put my mod after that so you get my settings and stuff. And that's that. I hope you guys have a great day. And moving on to the next video.